I think that uh, New Paltz is a great team and we fought really hard. But at the end, we just didn't make enough plays to, to give ourselves a chance to win the match. But I'm so proud of the way that our team has, has fought hard every, every single day and has grown as a program in such a short period of time. Coach, was there anything different between the ebbs and flows of yesterday's match where it seemed that St. John Fisher was able to kind of seize that momentum and then didn't really let it go versus today where, you know, you kind of seemed to be back in the match and then all of a sudden it, things didn't quite go your way in the third set. Yeah, I mean, the service pressure from New Paltz was something that um, not many teams see uh, every day. You know, they're, they've been a storied program for a long, long time and they have some really good seniors on their team that can bring it from the end line. And, uh, we did. We managed it good enough to win that that third set, um, but at the end of the day, they they won that service battle today. Josh, ten kills that led the Cardinals today. What um what was clicking for you? What was going right on the court today? Uh, we just focused on our passing. It really opens up our offense. We have great spread out offense, but uh, out of system teams can just cheat over and they know what to expect. But when we're passing, we can hang with anyone. New Paltz obviously was like probably the hardest team they serving all year, which made it difficult. David, obviously year two of the program and there's a lot of growth here still to come for the program. What was it like for you kind of being a part of this team this year and, and what are you specifically looking forward to as the team kind of continues its its forward momentum? Well last year we kinda of, we struggled as a program. We were like five hundred and then this year we made a huge jump. To like competing in the semifinals of UBC, so just the jump that we made from last year to this year, and then what we're gonna make from this year to next year is what I'm looking forward to. What do you guys look at, David, as a player? You evaluate, you know, as you said, year, year by year. But what do you take out of this match as you kind of look to build upon what you've accomplished this year? Looking ahead a little bit. Well, the majority of our uh, team is underclassmen, besides the three seniors that were losing. So. The fact that we were able to gain this experience, like we've never been here before, so this will only help us down the road. Josh, what has it meant to you to kind of represent St. John Fisher and, and third seed in probably the best volleyball conference in the country? It's a big deal. Um, what did that mean to you and your growth, and what does that mean for the program looking ahead? Yeah, uh, I don't think anyone expected us to be here really come in preseason number eight in our conference, but working hard every day in our room. I think we knew that we were this good, but it was good to show the rest of the country that how good we could be and how good we could be in the future. And Coach, obviously a young team, you do have a couple of seniors on the, on the team. What are you going to miss about that group? What, what have they contributed to the program, and, and how bright is the future for St. John Fisher? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to miss um, – just the experience of every day working with Quinn and Kevin and Mike. Um, those, these guys came from different different programs. Mike Mike never played volleyball before in his life, and to do what he's done in such a short period of time, just watching him grow as a person and as a player was was something that I'm gonna miss. Kevin was a baseball player before he started playing volleyball with us, and he just had high school experience. So. It, the hard work and dedication and um, the sacrifices they make for their teammates coming into to the program and, and they really bought into the system and what we were trying to do from a cultural standpoint and we wouldn't be here without those guys you know recruiting the other players that were just on campus when we started the project and then how, what do you take out of this experience despite the result yeah. as you kind of continue to move forward with, with the, the remainder of the roster the experience is priceless anytime you can be in a playoff situation where um, it's a win or go home with such you know, such great. We have a lot of talent, and we needed to go through this experience. And yeah, it sucks to lose, but at the same time, if we don't fail, we can't grow. And that's what we've been telling these guys from day one: to stick with the process and and trust in our systems. And uh, I think the results have showed that. And I don't I don't think if you told me in December of 2016 when I was hired to coach the team. Um, that we were going to be in the semifinals two years later, I would have thought you crazy with, with how daunting the task of putting the team together. But it goes to show the character and the quality of student athlete that we have at St. John.